welcome back to my channel my name is deborah okidinta and today is a sit down video i'm not going to be cooking but we are going to discuss things that you need to know before starting a food youtube channel in fact things that i wish i knew before starting a food youtube channel okay it's very fun to want to start the food content creation in fact it's fun especially when your family and friends tells you that your meal tastes nice and they go extra length to even ask you the spices you use to make those meals and the process it took you to make those meals in fact it gives you that joy and that peace because you want to start creating content and also teach other people what you do in your kitchen okay but there are things you need to know before starting a food content creation channel and i've listed down seven things you need to know one of them is identifying your niche this identifying your niche is overemphasized but there are things i also want to tell you which i'm also doing as a growing youtube channel is try so many things try if you try a uh, baking african meals continental dishes so many things that you can put your hand on you can also try storytelling as you cook you can try uh sit down videos you can try mock bag videos you can try so many things and when you find out that there is a particular video that gives you more subscribers and also gives you more views and engagement then you can now think of narrowing down towards that particular kind of video then you can start saying you are niching down to a particular niche because in, for me now i'm i'm a food content creator and my niche is making meals but i'm not based it on only african meals i try Ghanaian meals i try baking things i try so many things till i find out the one that suits my audience then i will start narrowing down okay number two is for you to determine your audience okay now as i just said you need to know what your audience loves so that you'll be able to stick with the audience those audience you will not lose them as you create content because when you have more audience that came into your channel because of let's say baking and suddenly you start deviating to um news you lose them you because they'll no more uh, become that kind of follower that you want them to be because they were not interested in news when they came into your channel what they were interested in majorly food content okay so try to identify identify what your audience love and focus in those kind of things okay then number three is plan your content this is so important you don't want to say you're a food content creator and you don't plan what you want to do you can decide that you want to have a series like i have a series going on a low content series which is going on please don't mind the noise you hear in the background it's just neighbors doing their thing okay but i know you are hearing me very well and i hope you are enjoying this uh, content as i said plan your content you plan your content in advance you also take note of holidays like this period is ramadan you take note of this period and create content around ramadan season especially the easter period you also create content around the easter period even as children will be at home things that the kids will like you create content around those things so that you keep pushing your channel out there okay another thing you need to check out for is developing a brand it follows where i say I determine your audience just be yourself and follow what your loyal followers love and also be consistent it's very important consistency does not mean that you should be posting every day or every two, two days or consistency means that you produce quality videos and at least let it be that you send out videos not after three months you are posting one video 
you will not be engaging your audience you will not be engaging your followers and they will find your channel not interesting enough to keep staying okay you you need to be consistent enough so that you have audience that whenever you post something they are there to watch your videos and enjoy it create engaging content now this one is is very important because engaging content helps your audience stick through like I have a video where I did storytelling. In that storytelling, I talked about what led to a particular recipe during the election period. This is trying to create something different from what I used to do. Because you don't want to just create the same kind of thing that every time is what your audience see. There is no difference. There is no, uh, there is no uniqueness. There is nothing that you are adding to what other creators are doing because this niche which is a cooking niche it looks saturated but i tell you when you start you find out that people want to learn new things people want to learn another method not just the particular way that everybody makes their meal people want to see how you make your own meal cooking makes people relax when people watch the way you cook or the way you make that meal you can make them jump into their kitchen to whip up something and enjoy even when they are in a low mood okay build a community around food okay know what your audience love ask them questions you can ask them what you want what they want you to make for them to see and learn that is how you know that you are building audience and community that follow you through your journey okay then the last on my list is collaborate with other content creators i know this is not easy for growing youtubers because we feel that the big youtubers are so big and you can't even interact with them then what happens to the growing ones if you are resident in lake let's say lagos find people that are full content creators in lagos or find people in other niche in lagos and feature them in your kitchen okay if you are in Abuja or any state or any country, find people that are in other niche, feature them in your kitchen, find people that are also in the cooking content creation space and also feature them in your kitchen. That is how you collaborate, okay? And I know that with this few things that I have given you, it will give you an idea what you should know before starting a youtube channel these things are so important as you want to become a food content creator these things are what you need to know they are so so important that you need to know that one i need to identify my niche and i'm not just going to stop there i need to determine my audience what my audience love and i'm not going to stop there i'm also going to develop a brand people need to love me for who i am that is your own brand you need to have loyal followers okay not just there you need to also create engaging content you will not stop there you also need to build a community around food which me i'm trying to also do the same then you also need to collaborate with other content creators which is also important okay i know that with this you have learned one or two things and please comment in the comment section your questions what you think that I, I should talk about and also click the subscribe button share this video give me a like and subscribe to my channel as we cook delicious meals as we sit down and discuss as we talk about so many things in this youtube channel and remember that this is Odis plate and remember my quote that I do say that whoever tastes your meal has tasted the goodness of your heart okay and see you in my next video and bye bye